There's a lot of different cryptocurrency exchanges you can use these days, but not a lot of centralized exchanges, which offer a lot of unique benefits over decentralized exchanges that you can fully utilize to a pretty high withdrawal limit with no KYC, no know your customer. Basically, you can transact basically privately. That's why we're gonna be running through a review of BitGet today, what it is, how to use it, and some of the popular things on there and basically ways we can try to make money with crypto. So at the end of the day, that's what crypto investing is all about other than just simply usability and obviously financial freedom, breaking away from the banks. And I mean, there are a lot of other reasons, but you know what I'm trying to say. My name is Vosker on the Voscoin YouTube channel. Let's do it. As always, nothing in this video is financial advice, and this video is made today possible thanks to BitGet. So, let's jump into it. BitGet, better trading, better life. It's that simple, guys. But in all seriousness, I am thrilled about BitGet for really the simple reason that you can deal with this exchange with no KYC. That is the reason that I praise Qcoin. Not that Qcoin is some spectacular exchange, but it's an exchange you can use with no KYC. And it doesn't mean I'm doing anything bad or evil or whatever else. I'm not like, you know, laundering money. I pay a lot in taxes, okay? I pay all my taxes. I think I actually overpay my taxes to make sure that, you know, I'm good. And yeah, it, it, it sucks, but you won't get very far avoiding your taxes in the United States. They'll, they'll get you. So they have a referral program. I'll drop that link down in the video description below if you should choose to sign up. But why? Like, why? So again, we talked about the KYC feature here. And let me, so I'm in the asset page. And uh, for example, here, I just did a test transfer in for Litecoin, which you can see right here on the chain, deposit address, confirmations, everything like that. I can go over to withdrawal. I can put LTC. I think this actually might be below their minimum or we can see the fee. Okay, so that's the fee. So I just grabbed my Litecoin address. I'll go ahead and put that address in there. But I'm below the minimum withdrawal, so this small amount, this is about $3 worth of Litecoin right now, it's stuck in here. But again, the main takeaway here is your total withdrawal amount for the unverified account or basically no KYC is 20 Bitcoin a day. Uh, for me personally, <laughs> that's gonna be plenty. That's, that's ample for your boy. They have this chart comparing BitGet to Binance to Bybit. One of BitGet's biggest features is the simple fact that it's a futures exchange. They have leverage trading. So with futures trading pairs and no KYC, that's actually pretty rare here. So for example, on Binance, you're not going to deal any kind of volume at 0.06 BTC and get banned if you're a U.S. citizen. Bybit will let you go up to 2 BTC. BitGet will let you go up to 20 BTC. And you complete verification, you go up to 200 which is much larger than both of the comparative exchanges here. The adjoining bonus is up to $2,000 higher than the others. They have the least amount of trading pairs um, for futures as well as spot, but that's okay. Their fees are relative and they have their own token, which definitely is not pumped like BNB, but that also could be kind of like an exciting thing. We hope that it could you know, have some more of a runway, right? So you can obviously go ahead and complete KYC on their platform if you'd like to do so. And to celebrate you giving up all of your personal information, you can also receive $3. <laughs> oh, sign today. You'll love it. You get a first deposit bonus here of 100 USDT Tether uh, for the futures account. You get 20 bucks for your first trade, 30 bucks for your first copy trade. So they have those reward incentives in there. Their lead products, right are basically what we just talked about usdt margin futures coin margin futures one click copy trading and they have their own launch pad here so per their data they've got 2 million cumulative users 7.3 average daily trading volume and global reach in 50 co countries and they claim that they're ranked top five on coin market cap as well as coin gecko they also have asset management products so you can stake on their platform you can get exposure to liquidity mining everything like that along with a mobile app so it's great to have all those options just in one place but understand you know when you do put your coins in there they do become the custodian so i try to never leave large amounts of money in any other entities right you want to be your own bank when it comes to cryptocurrency self-custodian right 
take your coins into your own personal wallets, go in here and trade and do whatever else, and then you know hop off and do what you do. Market's red today, and a lot of people think you can't make money when the market's red. Wrong. That's only just the casual long-term holder strategy. You can do shorts, shorts trading. You can short the market. Basically, you're literally betting on it going down. That's great. A lot of people make stupid money like that. Plenty of people get rich during bear markets. Plenty of people also get blown up with leverage trading. So again, it's not financial advice. You do whatever you want to do, but make sure you understand that basically margins trading, futures trading, okay? That's like trading with expert difficulty. Of course, like any other exchange, they have spot trading. And they have many different pairings on here. What's interesting, looking at ranking lists per their hot search feature here, Tron and USDT pairing is topping the charts. Then we have good old XRP, Ripple Dipple, and BGB, which is the BitGet token here, similar to, say, Binance's BNB. Right, we go over to the spot trading pair, very just typical exchange. So at the time of recording this video, we can see the spot pairing here with BGB, their native token, is at about 16 cents. What I would personally love to see would be their own EVM clone. It's their own Ethereum virtual machine clone that Binance launched, which is the Binance Smart Chain, or now the BNB Smart Chain, or they even just try to call it the BNB Chain, even though they got two of those, and that's kind of confusing. Um, I'd love to see something like that come to market with BitGap. It would be a huge endeavor, but hey, you know, it's fun, it's exciting, and as a user, I'm all about more competition. BitGet's also running a special campaign right now where just when you register, you get five bucks. And if you join their Telegram, they're giving away $50,000 in rewards just to their members in there. So I'll drop that link down in the video description below. You also can get up to 200 USDT bonus for new users, but how, right? So deposit value, spot trading volume, basically you have to hit these metrics on this chart and you'll acquire an associated bonus. So for example, deposit 400 bucks, trade $300, you get a $10 bonus. It starts to scale heavily up from there. They have a copy trade program. So you can copy the best traders. For example, if you're sick of losing your money and you want someone else to lose your money for you, well, boy, do I have somebody for you. We've got 010582, star, 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 star. And if you'd like to follow him, you can decrease your money by about 57%. But not everybody's a loser, okay? There's other traders on here that have some pretty good returns. 152%, 195% ROI return on your investment, 339%. They're exciting numbers. So copy trading's great, you know, if you're lazy and you want to just hop on someone else's coattail, right? We can come down here and look at copiers P&L. For example, PlayFun with his 152 ROI. But in my personal opinion, if you want to trade, you should learn to trade yourself. Okay? That's it. Period. They've got some easy ways to trade crypto, right? You can uh, go ahead and turn things into dollars or other fiat currency or, you know, basically easy, quick trading. Um, they have their peer-to-peer -peer kind of express setup there. They also have fiat on ramps uh, just provided by Simplex, Banksa, and Mercury O. Personally, I've only ever used Simplex here uh, back before they basically banned U.S. credit cards and everything like that. Um, Simplex is, is great. You know, you buy. Uh, they hit you with a hefty fee. Uh, so you're definitely down from the, your, your initial buy. Uh, but it's, again, it's definitely an option. Uh, so and above all, I think my point here is simply that I'm glad that they have some of these things integrated with their exchange before, you know, they can even just bring their own full-blown fiat on-ramp like some other centralized exchanges have. They have their KCGI going on. It's a King's Cup Global Invitational. It's a biannual global crypto futures trading competition hosted by BitGet. And uh, yeah, they got two, uh, two formats here, team battle and individual competition. I think this does fun. I mean, if you're a big trader, jump in here, have some fun, hopefully get some bonuses. That's that's really the big takeaway there. BitGet has launched their own launchpad. Launchpads are a no-brainer for cryptocurrency exchanges. Leverage your community and your trust factor and all of your just, you know, facilities and services and personnel you have and let tokens launch on your exchange. Give them an instant listing. This is a benefit for people on your exchange. Personally, I would make it so you have to have a minimum of like my exchange's token to be able to participate, right? Or you do the sale against your own token. For example, one Kyoko here traded for 
0.5 BGB at the sale price. So that's a great way to add some utility adoption and just trading, right? For your own token again it's really a no-brainer which is why we see a lot of it but even on i would love to see every exchange having a launch pad it's definitely a great benefit is bit get regulated right so they have this document from fincen which is the financial crimes enforcement network department of the treasury basically saying that the state of their msb which is a money services business, basically allows them to be a money transmitter, basically allows them to deal with crypto and, and, and you know participate in the United States. Okay, so states of MSB activities, you can check this exact list and see if you are able to use this exchange. If you're in one of the near communist states of the United States, you're gonna be in it for a bad time, but that's nothing new. BitGet in their BGB token is pivoting towards, <gasps> Web 3.0, you guessed it, Web 3, right? Obviously DeFi, Decentralized Finance, NFTs, Non-Fungible Tokens. We might as well just drop Metaverse in there, okay? And so with this, they want to connect to crypto, DeFi, and NFTs like never before. Unlock Web 3 today with the BGB token from BitGet. You get trading rewards in here and in, among other incentives. Again, trying to drive that, that use and utility of their own token. I, I think it's cool. It's fine. Uh, crypto exchange tokens historically have, have all done very well. They've been good investments, you know, long term if that exchange is successful. The BGB token is an ERC20 token. That means it lives on the Ethereum blockchain, which means it has easy adoptability there but you're gonna pay high gas fees. So pros and cons for sure, targeting the whales without a doubt, and even just you know the biggest level of integration. So the total circulation here is not 2 million, but 2 billion tokens. Allocation, circulating exchange, 25%. The balances exchange, 75%. It's a token. They get it all and they do whatever they want with it. They have to be able to kind of drive utility and thus create the demand, create the value, everything like that. All in all, I'm really happy to see BitGet here, right? So it's another cryptocurrency exchange that offers futures trading, right? We have copy trading. They have their own token, obviously spot trading. They have a launch pad, okay? And they, they have their own token, which really allows you to basically invest into an exchange. You can get exposure just like that, right? It lives on the Ethereum blockchain, easy to make decentralized trades there for that token, even if you don't want it. But normally with something like this, you're going to get the best deal for that token in their own ecosystem, which, for example, will be trading on their BigGet exchange. With no KYC, no problem, no big deal. It also means if you're in an area where you're not allowed to be using their exchange, I'm not saying this to do this or endorsing it or anything, but a VPN should solve your issue because you don't basically lose at the next stage with KYC, know your customer. Again, I got no problem with AML, anti-money laundering laws. My point is that your financials should be private and you should be able to do whatever you wanna do. And if you make money and the government says you need to pay them when you make money, that's fine. Give them their cut and move on. Never advocating breaking laws here. So, hey, the one thing I am advocating is to make sure you smash that subscribe button. Not for me, but for our CTO, our chief trading officer here at the Voscoin YouTube channel. <laughs> yep, that's the furriest, that's the fluffiest, that's going to be tails. My name is Vosk. Again, you're on the Voscoin YouTube channel. As always, thanks for watching. We upload daily, so I will see you tomorrow.